Hey guys, this is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken, and I'm going to make something quick and easy today, like I always do. Not like always, but, um, so I did something really crazy. I was at a crock pot liners, so I lined my crock pot with aluminum foil, non-stick aluminum foil. So we'll see how that is, and it may not be perfect, but at least it'll, um, keep it clean enough and that's really the only reason why I use the crock pot liners is to helps the cleaning process along because <clears throat> it seems like before I used liners it was just too hard to clean and I got better things to do with my time than to take three days to clean the crock pot so um, yeah so I started using liners they the liners do leak and stuff but I'm not worried about average um, spillage or debris on the pan. I just uh, trying to prevent stuff from sticking and burning to the crock pot because it's really hard to clean. Okay, so enough of that. I'm going to make crock. I'm going to make a meatloaf, and I'm going to make the meatloaf in the crock pot. I've never made it in the crock pot, and it's been many years since I made meatloaf. So, yeah. So let's go over here. Okay, so I'm going to use this ground turkey. This Jenny O 93% lean. And um, I always use a uh, lift and onion soup mix to make uh, my uh, meatloaf. And I'm not a big meatloaf person, but um, this is this way that I make it is the only way I can eat it. I have never liked anyone's meatloaf my whole entire life. I would never eat meatloaf because I didn't like it. It was horrible. But the way I make it, I can eat it. Anyway, so today I'm going to use the Lifton onion soup mix. And I'm going to also use a package of Lifton beefy onion. That's just something new I've added to my lineup. I'm going to use the reduced sugar ketchup because it calls for ketchup anyway um, reduced sugar is the only um, ketchup I could find that had something like that and I don't know how much sugar is in it there we go looks like one gram anyway I couldn't find any sugarless ketchup and um, I'm gonna try this this says bread crumbs it's Italian style breadcrumbs. I've never tried these before in a meatloaf. I have put these, I have um, used these to coat my chicken when I um, bake chicken in the oven. I will mix this with crushed pecans and have pecan crusted chicken. I'm going to use the parsley flakes pepper, salt, and garlic. And that's about it. And uh, I normally use breadcrumbs, and I probably will use breadcrumbs. I do have a little bread left. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to put everything in my bowl and mix it up, and I'll be back. Anyway, uh, I've never made a meatloaf with the ground turkey before, and uh, I really don't know how much of this to put in there, because I've never used anything like this before. And I'm going to put some parsley and pepper. I usually use ground beef, and uh, so, so yeah. Anyway, I also got ground, uh, meatless grounds to put in it, but yeah, I used it on something else. And I'm going to add the beefy onion. And the regular onion soup mix, lifting them onion soup mix. All right, and some garlic. 
It actually probably has enough salt in it from the onion and the beefy onion. So maybe I'll forego that. And um, let's see what the recipe calls for because it's been a while. Okay, so I need two eggs and I need a third of a cup of ketchup. But yeah, I'm going to put the ketchup in to my liking. So, I don't usually ever read the instructions. I usually just, you know, make it like I think it looks right. <clears throat> but I did forget the onion. I mean, the onions, laugh out loud. I could put onions in here. That would be good. But I already got the Lipton onion soup mix. Okay. I'm going to go get the eggs. I did forget the eggs, and I'll be back. I went ahead and added the... Um... I'm going to put three eggs in here. And, uh, okay, so now I'm just going to mix all this up and I'll be right back. Because I'm not going to let you watch me mix it with my hands. Okay, um, I am going to put bread in here. I've got the bread in the toaster. I'm going to let it toast a little bit because I hate squishy bread. Because when it cooks, it'll be all soggy and I don't like soggy bread. So I'm going to toast it up a little bit. It's going to um, cut easier. I'm not going to toast it all, all the way. And then I'm going to put it in the crock pot. I'm not really sure how I'm going to put it in the crock pot. If I'm just going to fill the bottom or make a loaf or what so um, yeah that's where I'm at I got it all mixed up and I don't really understand these breadcrumbs I don't understand these breadcrumbs as something you would add to a recipe because I mean look it's like a seasoning it's not even like breadcrumbs I mean look how skinny they are I mean I realize I use this for breading, but how can you use it for chunky bread pieces? It just doesn't make sense. That's just my opinion. But it is really good to use for breading when you bake chicken in the oven. Okay, I got my toast. That's only four pieces of toast. I didn't really know how much I needed. And so that looks good. I used the entire bottle of ketchup, three pounds of Jenny O turkey, ground turkey, and uh, so I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to take it to the crock pot, figure out how I'm going to put it in there. I don't really know how long it'll need to cook, but I just turned my crock pot on, so this is probably going to have to cook a long time. Okay, so I have it in the crock pot, and uh it's, I have this in here. It's about the size of a roast. And I'm thinking that, um, yeah, I don't think it needs to be any bigger because it might not cook. So this is the size of a pretty big roast. And I still have all that left. So I'm thinking that I will just cook this and um, not add any more because I want to make sure it cooks all the way through. And then I'll just take this and make hamburgers out of it. That'll make good hamburgers. All right, well, I'm going to put the lid on it and let it cook for 45 minutes to an hour and a half, and then I'll check on it. And I figure it'll have to cook three or four hours, but I'm not really sure. Okay, guys, sending all my love and my hugs. This is Lisa with the Barnyard Chicken. I might be back with a end result, but yeah, that's just crazy. Okay, guys, I'm just updating um, the rest of my meatloaf mix. I got four large... Um, meatloaf burgers um, cooking. These are pretty large meatloaf burgers because this is a 12 or 14 inch pan. I'm not really sure. I've had it a long time. A super long time. Anyway, 
I'm going to pick them up and see how it goes. And I still have stuff left, so I guess I'll make a couple of more after I get these done. Anyway, I just thought I'd share. Crazy little meatloaf burgers. I went ahead and added a little ketchup to the top. I had another bottle because that's the kind we use. So I bought that specific bottle specifically for this recipe. Anyway, I have it set on high. I figure it'll take three hours. I figure a good three hours. It's pretty thick, but I tried not to make it too thick. And uh, yeah, so my burgers are looking pretty good. And uh, so I guess I'm happy with these burgers, especially since they're turkey burgers. So um, I'm sure they'll be really good and the guys will enjoy them.